In this video, we will talk about compositions of inverse functions and the inverse properties of logarithms. So, let's say we have two functions, f of x and g of x. The definition of inverse functions tells us that two functions, f and g, are inverses of each other if the composition of f and g is equal to x and the composition of g and f is also equal to x. So again, if f and g are inverse functions, then f of g of x equals x and g of f of x is also equal to x. For example, let f of x be equal to 2x plus 5 and g of x is equal to x minus 5 over 2. These two functions are inverses of each other and we can verify this using composition. First, we will verify that f of g of x equals x. So, let's write f of g of x and in this operation we have the f function and the g function is the input for the f function. This means that in the f function we will replace this x with x minus 5 over 2. So, first we will bring down 2 and then in place of x we will write x minus 5 over 2 then we will bring down plus 5. So, we brought down 2 then in place of x we wrote the fraction then we brought down plus 5. Then in this expression 2 and 2 will cancel then we will have x minus 5 plus 5 and now negative 5 and positive 5 will cancel and we will get x. So we showed that f of g of x is indeed equal to x. Now we also need to show that g of f of x is also equal to x. I will write these two functions here to the right and for convenience I wrote g of x first and then f of x. And now let's find the composition of g of f of x. In this case f of x is the input of g and this means that in the g function x will be replaced with 2x minus 5. So then here I will start a fraction and in place of x we will write 2x plus 5 then we will bring down minus 5 and we will divide by 2. So again in place of x we wrote 2x plus 5 then we brought down minus 5 then we divided by 2. Then in the numerator 5 and negative 5 will cancel and 2x divided by 2 is equal to x. So now we showed that g of f of x is also equal to x. And now let's talk about exponential and logarithmic functions. The exponential and the logarithmic functions are inverses of each other therefore their composition also must be equal to x. So let f of x be equal to log base b of x. Then g of x is equal to b to the x power. Again this is the logarithmic function and this is the exponential function and they both have the same base b. Now let's find the composition of f of g of x. To find this composition in the f function we will replace x with b to the power of x. Then we will write log base b of b to the x power. Then according to the definition of inverse functions this composition must be equal to x. And what we got here is the first inverse property of logarithms. I will write it down here one more time log base b of b to the x power equals x. Now we can use this property to simplify or to evaluate logarithms. For example, let's say we have log base 5 of 5 to the second power. According to the property above, the result must be equal to 2. 
So when this base is the same as this base, then this number is going to be the answer. And indeed, if we take the base 5 and we raise to exponent 2, we get the result 5 to the second power. And now let's see the composition of g and f of x. Here to the right, I will write that g of x is equal to b to the x power and f of x is equal to log base b of x. Then let's write the composition of g and f of x. In this composition, f of x is the input for the g function. Therefore, in the g function, we will replace x with log base b of x. Then we will have b to the power of log base b of x. Then, according to the definition of inverse functions, this composition also must be equal to x. Then, what we have here is the second inverse property of logarithms. I will write it below one more time, b to the power of log base b of x equals x. And this property can also be used to simplify or to evaluate logarithms. An example would be 3 to the power of log base 3 of 9 equals 9. So when this base is the same as this base, then this result is the same as this result. And to verify this, let's evaluate the exponent log base 3 of 9. 3 to what power is equal to 9? That would be 2. So the value of this logarithm is 2. Then we can say that 3 to the second power equals 9. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave comments, and thank you for watching.